Here we have four USB dongles, RTL, SDR, running from a resistive power divider with seven inputs. Uh, four of them are for these four dongles. On the left hand side we have R820T and one other is FC0013. On the right hand side we have two uh, dongles with the E4000 tuner, one running SDR Sharp and the other running Leanrod. Uh, and on the left hand side of course it is SDR Sharp. Uh, what we see here is no signal, it's just a noise floor. Uh, to start with, I add a s noise generator, a noise source that sends the same noise level to all the dongles. We can see that the signal level went up by 10 decibels here. Uh, I disconnect the noise source again. And you can see it's 10 dB. It's the same for the other identical dongle here. It also goes up and down by 10 dB. Of course it's the same dongle. The R820 is a little bit more sensitive. We can see the noise figure, the noise floor goes down by about 13 dB. So it's 3 decibels more sensitive while the FC0013 here uh, is not quite 10 dB, it's more 8.5 or something like that. The difference in sensitivity is not huge, it is there, but that's not the big difference between the dongles. Now I inject a signal. Uh, it is a signal at the level of 100 and minus 115 dBm from a signal generator and I'm stepping it in here in steps of 100 kilohertz. Let's stop here. It is 80.4 megahertz now. So uh, you can set a marker here close to the signal and I keep this mouse close to the signal there. Uh, so on the right hand side it's the same dongle but it's two different softwares. Now I add Another signal, it's a sweep generator that sweeps over 10 megahertz, starting 5 megahertz below and ending 5 megahertz above the center frequency. And I start the sweep now. And here we can see something in the upper uh, E4000 and you can see the R820. Compare the Linrod screen to the other screens. Here is the real signal. Look at the signal at the side of the markers on the right hand side, on the E4000 dongles. You can see that the signal would be heard in the loudspeaker without interference from the sweeping signal. Now the signal is very close to the end and here it stopped. Uh, now I increase the sweeping signal by 20 decibels and make a new sweep now. Look at the Linrod and compare to the other ones. When we are with in the here, we can hear on none of them because we are within the one megahertz window. 
sorry, 2 megahertz window. And now the sweep is finished. Please note that what we have seen here is with maximum gain on all the dongles. Now I turn down the gain for about the same sensitivity on all the units. Something like that. Uh, The noise for is now 5 dB in Linrod. And uh, that was too much. That's also too much. Oops, that's a big step. We have to leave it there. Now they react similarly to the noise generator, so they have a similar sensitivity, all the four dongles. I start the sweep generator uh, to see how they compare now. Uh, so it's running. Now we are in the close range, so it's useless, all of the dongles. But not now. Linrad is now running in linearity mode, while uh, SDR Sharp is running in the original Osmocom mode, which has a different gain distribution. Now the sweep is over.